In this video, I'm going to do a detailed review of the stencil printer that is shown in the video that I just released. So please enjoy. This is the first version of the stencil printer I'm making. I made it because uh, I was having some problems getting a good yield on the FPC base PCB series that I'm making. It has two FPC connectors on each board and these FPC connectors has 40 pins each with 0.5 millimeter distance between each pin. If I made 10 boards, maybe just 7 or 8 turned out great without the need of rework. My goal was to make something that could give consistent paste jobs and not necessarily be very fast. And the solution was to make something that holds the frame down firmly and then be able to move the PCB from side to side and back and forth. I also added a rotational axis later so I could also rotate the PCB. The machine is built within the Open Builds open source build system. It's a build system consisting of wheels, aluminum extrusions, and so on. It uses mainly aluminum plates, but I 3D printed mine, and that worked out to be good enough. It was important to have a totally flat surface underneath the entire PCB, because in other stencil printers, the PCB is basically hanging in mid-air, only supported under the mounting holes. I think the normal design could push the PCB downwards when you apply paste, so that it can get trapped on the underside of the stencil, which can lead to a bad paste job. With full support under the PCB, you can actually apply excessive solder and also pull it off in all directions multiple times without getting anything smudged underneath the stencil. I think this is great for people without training doing manual passing as it seems to give a always concise and good result. The machine is actually controlled by a PlayStation controller and it's driven by Trinamic stepper drivers which I can control directly through USB. That also gives me the possibility to program the entire machine in a high level language like Python 3 and then use all the libraries for Python 3 like the gamepad support in Pygame. I actually wrote the entire software in about one hour and it was really cool that I was able to do that that fast. I guess that pretty much sums it up I'm making a multiple episode build series on how to design, build, and code a machine like this. I will cover everything from the design in Fusion 360 to the coding of the motor drivers. In the last episode, the entire machine will be published for free as open source with no restrictions.